Wow, how original! Milan's doing another All Engines Go video! I'm now officially as creative as Joe the local bus driver. As you've probably been able to tell by the decently sized content drought I've been going through, a decent bit's been going on with me. Got myself a pretty good part-time job, currently in the second to last semester of college, and trying to get a ton of content done before I go see my girlfriend for the holidays. And in between all of this, yes, I have seen all engines go. It was okay. Oh, don't get me wrong, it's very much warranted some of those criticisms, but, eh. It, it's fun at times, I can't be that angry over it. But in the midst of the epic battles between the fandom and innocent parents and also the fandom itself over whether or not this reboot is good, one question has been piercing my mind throughout the entirety of watching this series on and off throughout the last few months. For all the characters we expected to see back, there are characters we didn't expect to see back. And now that raises the question, who could we potentially see back next? And who do I want to see back next? And so, in this totally scripted video, I will be presenting this as seriously as we should treat the toddler age Thomas the Tank Engine cartoon reboot airing on Cartoon Network, as we take a look at my top 10 characters that should be in All Engines Go, and if they don't, Mattel will be getting a very nasty letter because Mattel is evil and just stinky and bad. And totally not just a game of executive hot potato because literally no one in their grandmas knows how to handle this brand, but whatever, let's get started. So something All Engines Go appears to be lacking so far, in its wide and diverse cast of characters, is the elderly. We have Blue Elderly Train, but he's blue, he was the first one, he, he's kinda needed, even though he now looks like a semi-truck. And to ensure that we have all of the original Steam Team back, except for Rebecca, because I, I, I guess she wasn't maybe marketable enough for this reboot, we must bring back the Brown Elderly, and that is Toby, to Tobias the, the Tram Steam Engine. It, it, it Maybe Henrietta too. Maybe she's easy to read. Because nothing is more elderly than a shed. Now what could be better than an elderly wood train? How about three wood trains from America? All Engines Go is a pretty clearly Americanized product, so why not bring in the funny American trains that get a lot of merchandise? Seriously, Jesus Christ, how are they still getting merch this late? Bash Dash and Fergie are very easy candidates in that regard, and hey, we can take them from the most to the least racist Thomas era so far. I'm sure Sir Topham Hat means a really useful steamy. You'll never be that. Don't go to the diesel works. It's dark, it's dirty, and it's full of diesels. And you guys are questioning why I don't think this is the lowest in quality this franchise has ever gotten to. <laughs> But what could be better than American box trains? The All-American Train! Much like how we brought Bash Dash and Ferdinand away from the worst Thomas era ever, we're gonna be bringing Hank away from the worst model season ever! Don't act like it isn't. Hank is red, white, and blue, he's big, He sold a decent amount of toys, he's fitting the bill perfectly. Something we may have noticed in All Engines Go is there is a surprising lack of diesels in All Engines Go. I mean, there's Diesel, but I think he's the only Diesel train that we have on the show so far. And with this, I nominate Dennis as our Diesel rep. Because he had the cool side rod thing on the Tommy toy, and I wish he was very cheap to find. Something we may have also noticed is, beyond a select few trains, everyone at the show is very int average intelligence, so we need more smart trains on the show, so that we have all the smartest trains on the tracks on the island of Soder. I would have nominated Detective Brewster for this, as he is a very intelligent train, and also has the better train reboot, but we don't talk about that just yet. So in his place, I nominate Baker Lou, because he is a very smart train, he has the detective hat, and he runs, and he says, Elementary, Madeir, whatever train it was, he is a very smart train, and he's the only good character in Underground Ernie. And now you may be saying, uh, Milan, this is not Thomas, this is another train cartoon. This isn't your train cartoon, so what are you doing? Well, I ask you uh, this in return. Is Buck Cluck a good father figure? Isn't it amazing what science can- Dustin. Dustin moves the snow, they could- probably use him as in a winter episode or something. Call his debut episode Dustin Checks In. 
I've also taken note that there's a severe lack of purple in All Engines Go beyond not Coco. Totally not Coco. This was not created to cash in on the other train show. Okay, it wasn't actually, but come on, Mattel, you couldn't have gone with another design. And thus, for a representation for purple, this choice is very easy. Megara, because she would go to the cranky during coffee breaks and make all sorts of funny, witty chit chat. Please, can we get good merchandise to this character that isn't Funko Pops? And cool dolls that I have otherwise no interest in. Surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the Ooh, with Cranky in mind, we also need aquatic friends for our buddies over at the docks of Brendam. Someone who is red, someone who can maneuver through the water easily. And for this, this is a very, very easy choice to put in, considering our previous choice. This must be our good old friend, Theodore Tugboat. Cause he'll- he'll keep Bullstrode company. <laughs> you thought I was gonna be that character, but I said it was that character instead! <laughs> now, I have spoken the Lord's name in vain a couple of times in this video, and on the topic of making sure to honor our religious folk, I nominate for the number two spot, Chugger the Face Train. Because he looks like he's going to kill me if I don't include him anywhere in my videos. Please don't hurt me, please, Chugger. I, I will I will repent soon. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> please don't please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> and now for my number one pick for the All Engines Go Returnee that I want is Ashima. I, I kind of want to see her back. Realistically, Toby is the more likely choice, because, you know, he's the last of the original Steam Team, and I don't know if they're going to bring in Rebecca back, so I guess he's kind of the last of the Steam Team to bring on to the series. But I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of surprised they didn't include Ashima into the series. The Great Race made a ton of money, she's a pretty popular merchandising character, it kind of seems like it would have been an easy fit. Even if her design and livery is literally every texture and rigging artist's worst nightmare, I feel like with how Nia ended up being treated in the series, there could have been potential to flush her up with some of her untapped potential. Maybe make her the muscle of the team or something. You know, showgirls are just as strong as boys too, woo! But I guess they've got enough girl characters on at the moment and they're mostly gonna focus on Kana because she's the shiny new character. But dang it, she deserves better than what Bubba ended up doing. Who cares about giving Ashima an episode? Have an episode where Thomas makes his mistake because he's definitely never done that. So you're probably asking yourself before we start wrapping up, why did I spend all this time making a silly joke video when I could have done another discussion video like the last one? Well, firstly, Twitter. Secondly, I have way too many projects on my plate and doing this kind of video would be uh, not exactly affordable. I actually did record and edit a follow-up video to that video, except uh, a lot more news came out right after that happened, so I couldn't really finish it. And two, we really gotta stop taking ourselves this seriously with this reboot. I could have made this another ending that goes, oh, I could always be worse, but everyone in the comments could probably tell me by this point. Not the worst. Are you kidding me? This is the worst. Thomas is literally an arachnid now. I, I, th I think people have a little bit of an excuse this time to be mad. But at the end of the day, as much as I want a better reboot, as much as I want better stuff to happen to this franchise, as much as I want it to be under a better owner, and as much as I want it to just be good again, this is also a train with a face that has had 24 seasons of content prior. He's 76 years old, he's not just gonna keel over because of a bad cartoon reboot. Did Winnie the Pooh end because of my friends Tigger and Pooh? I don't think so. If you're not liking the way a certain brand or franchise is going, then it doesn't hurt to take away some time from it and focus on other things. I still haven't finished season 11, and honestly, even as a kid, I didn't really tune into the Nitrogen era that much beyond the yearly movie, so take that what you will. I think it's okay to like it, I think it's okay not to like it, and if you don't like it, enjoy what you used to enjoy, but the most important thing to remember is, if you bully parents and children for liking a silly cartoon train reboot you don't like, then you might want to lock the door at night because I will find you. Well, so long. See you next time. Oh, and number 11, Slips. <laughs>